Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's the Oni with Thrifty Divas. Yes, I'm inside. Yes, I'm wearing a coat because I'm in the sunroom and it's cold, but it's daytime. So hey, I'm making big progress. This is the haul video for the church, barn, and house walkthrough video. If you missed that one, I will link it down below in the description box. Make sure you don't miss out on any of the fun stuff that I didn't get that I saw that I may regret. I'm not sure. But um, I also picked up some things that I got so excited that I didn't show you either. So uh, make sure um, that you do check out the, the walkthroughs before because they're kind of fun in a different way. So it is linked down below for you if you want to go check that out first or whatever. I know some of you guys like going out of order, which is also fine. So let me show you. This is like, this is at least two trips to the barn in the house but I will show you everything that I got. Let's jump right in. So, okay. The first thing I picked up, because I was making cookies the other day, my mom was over and she's like, do you have one of those things? I'm like, no, I just use like a sifter basket. But anyway, they had one of these. And if you saw my antique mall walkthrough, they had like a like a vintage one with, with like little flowers and it was gorgeous and I wanted it, but it was $18. And I was like, no. So, I found this one for a dollar and now I have one. Awesome. Next, I show this. He ended up charging me $4 for this, which I thought was fair. Um, so it's this giant bucket, 200 crayons, this Crayola bucket. And I think that is great. And it's got all of them in there. We can even like refill it if we have to. There's literally only about, oh, there's one missing. <gasps> no, that's a lie. There's like three missing, four. I don't know. Anyway, um, there's only a couple used. Do you see that? Most of them are brand new. So for $4, I thought this was absolutely fantastic. And we know these are the best crayons around. So I got that for Little Man for all of his drawing. The next thing I picked up, I got for my mom because my mom loves clay pottery pieces. And I think these are definitely hobbyist pieces. They are signed. Again, my PSA, if you guys do pottery work, please put the year so that when people find them 50 years from now somewhere, they know when they were made. But these are signed by the artist. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little messy. I don't know, I have no idea what it says. STG maybe, I have no idea, SAG, I don't know. But either way, they are these candle holders or goblets, I guess, I don't know. But I, I thought they were wonderful. No chips, no cracks, they are just absolutely beautiful. I think my mom is gonna love them. I love the different glazes. There's like a, a, a drip glaze inside, there's this speckled glaze on the outside. Um, it, there's some imperfections here that look like maybe they were like laid down during their, some process of them being made. I don't know. This one has it too. I don't know. Whatever. I don't know, but I just think it's cool. And then it's a shinier glaze. I just, I love them. And they were a dollar each. So that's going to be part of my mom's Christmas present. Now in my Island thrift haul, you will see that I got myself a little brown cow creamer then i saw this one and she was three dollars what was she originally hold on let me see this because there it's over another one i didn't notice that let's see oh stop okay so they were trying to charge 10 for it and then they switched it to three when they saw it wasn't moving so this is a cordon bleu cow made in france um, she does have a tiny little chip on her ear, but again, I don't, this is just, this is for me. This is for me and I love her. So I got this white cow creamer too. I thought she was very special and she's French. She's a French cow. So I got her to add to my creamer collection. Then if you watch the walkthrough, I saw this little Pyrex Fridgy. It's got a couple scratches, but it was a dollar and there's no lid, but I do have the ones that I rescued of my step grandmothers that are very, they went through the dishwasher. They're very worn. So I'm just gonna take one of the lids off of that and put on here for display. Cause I've put some of my fridges in uh, my china cabinet now. So I love it. A dollar, that's insane. So I had to get that. 
then I see this in the walkthrough and I was like, this is really sweet. I kind of love it. So I, 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 I was contemplating if it was hand painted, but I don't, I don't think it is, but it's just really cool. So Ceramica Fata a Mano. I think that means um, handmade. And then it's extra virgin olive oil with this wood stopper. And it's made in Tuscany. So I thought that was really cool. I don't know. I might end up giving that to my mom too. And I'll tell her to be totally honest with me. If she hates it, she can give it to me and I'll keep it. But a dollar. It's a fantastic piece. No chips or cracks, nothing. Then, if you saw the walkthrough, I noticed the giant neon half price Christmas stuff that I didn't see the first time. So I walked back around and then I was like, oh, let me grab some things. So the first thing I grabbed was this cute little Lennox tea light holder. Ugh, I have to get this sticker off. So they had $2 on it, so it was only a dollar. And I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add this to a present for someone. I don't know, a teacher gift maybe, I'm not sure, or just somebody else's present, but it's super cute. I mean, the box is a little scratched up, so I might not do it for a Christmas present, um, a teacher gift. I might give it to somebody else, but a dollar with the box. And then I got this to add to my village this is Holiday Expressions Collins, made in China, but $2, half off, so this was a dollar. And you can't beat that with a bat, and you put, put, the, put, put a battery-operated tea light in there. Happy Holidays, Transit, Office, I, it, that's, it's just so cool. So it is, it's ceramic, no chips, no cracks, flawless condition, so pretty, a dollar. Then, if you watched my last, one of my last hauls from this place, and I said the guy was like throwing things into my box as I was paying, and I thought it was hilarious. And one of the things he threw in was this House of Lloyd Sleeping Mouse Stocking Holder. These things go for 8 to $10, um, sold comps on eBay. So he threw one in, I think not knowing what he was doing, and he just threw it in my box. But they had two more sitting there, and I was like, they're, these are beautiful. Again, no chips, no cracks, flawless. I'm like, I'm going to pick up the other two to my set. I think these ended up being 50 cents each because I think he had a dollar on them in the first place. So now I have the three and they're amazing. They are ceramic. Then you'll see this in the walkthrough too. I was looking at this thing like crazy. The first time I ever saw it, I said, what the heck is that? Somebody messed up or something and just kind of squeezed glass out of nowhere and was like, oh, whatever. But then I went to another thrift store that same day that I saw this for the first time ever. I've never seen anything like that before. And I saw another thing like this. So anyway, it turns out it's called like an art glass knot. It's it's like it's like a hand blown knot, twisty knot, I don't or orb they call them. And they range they're like 20, 30, 40 dollars sold comps on eBay. Um, as low as 10, depending on what it is. So I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to pick this one up finally. And shoot, if I find the other one at whatever thrift store it was that I went to, if it's still there and I end up running across it again, I'll pick that one up too. It was cheap too. That was like $1.99. But he charged me like a dollar for this one. So I'm just going to take that and put that in my office too. Why not? On a stack of papers. Amazing. Isn't it cool? It's so interesting. I don't even know. Now we're all in the barn portion still. The house stuff was not that exciting. So I found this for little man. Now I have to Google, or if anybody knows, let me know in the comments, save me the research. Um, I didn't even know there was an on off switch on this thing. So apparently there's a battery box in here somewhere and I cannot for the life of me figure out where it is. And my husband's like, oh, I'll, I'll start taking off this i'll unscrew that it's just two screws maybe it's under the i don't want him to start taking this thing apart so 
I'll Google it, but let, let, let me know. Anyway, this is The Thing from the Fantastic Four, and he's on his motorcycle, and there's an on-off switch, and it is from 2005, so in about three years, he'll be vintage too. I know, it's crazy, um, but I'm going to give this to Little Man for Christmas. Hopefully, we can figure out the battery situation prior to that, but they did charge me $5 for this, and I think the guy that was ringing me up was really into it. That's why he charged me $5. There was no price on this, but he's like, five for the ben five for the thing. I'm sorry, Ben Grimm. Like, he was like all about it, so um, <clears throat> this like old guy, but I think um, Little Man's really, really going to like this. I just need to find the battery box. Maybe the seat. I have no idea. Hopefully Google helps. But yeah, five bucks. Then I looked at this thing several times and this time I decided to get it. So the cork is loose in there and I am hoping that I can get, oh, it's right there. Can you see that? It's right there. I'm hoping I can get big tweezers. Oh, that's not, wait, that's not a cork. That looks like wadded up paper towel. Yes, somebody put, hold on. If that's wadded up paper towel, I think it is. Yeah, then that's no problem. Wait. It is. Uh, okay, so now I can get this out, no problem, because I'll be able to break it up. Um, so, and I'll have to find another cork, but I was, believe it or not, like this is how much I doubt myself. I should just go on my instincts and, and call it a day. I was doubting whether this was vintage. This is totally mid-century, and then I looked it up after I bought it, 100% mid-century. It is this, um, I, th I, I think, I, I thought it was a sugar shaker because it's so big, um, but there was pairs, there was pairs, sold comps and stuff on eBay. Um, again, I looked everything up after I bought it, but there was, um, salt and pepper shakers. They said five inches. I'm like, that's a big salt and pepper shaker, but I'm going to use her as a sugar shaker because she's nice and big and she's totally, totally fifties. No chips, no cracks, nothing. She just needs a little good bath and I need to pull that wad of 50 year old paper towel in there or whatever it is out and um she's gonna be my sugar shaker and i love her so much a dollar a dollar now going completely out of order as soon as i got out of my car as soon as i got out of my car i see this outside and i said oh that's metal and i ran up to it and i see this this uh, 70s, I believe, Mighty Tonka Loader, and it is, it's all roached out, and I kind of like that about it. It doesn't need a bath, it's got like, it's got like grass and, uh, and, and, and cobwebs on it and stuff, but it needs some, it's so heavy, it needs some WD-40 on this thing, but I'll get this all nice and fixed up. It still has all of its um, windows and everything. So I, I, I like freaked out and a guy was standing outside that works there. I said, how much for this? He's like, mm, four. How about that? And I was like, that'll work. So I got this for $4. My stepfather still has his from when he was a kid, which was also seventies. And, um, he brought it home before his mother died. He had done a visit, you know, upstate and it was there and he brought it home for my son. Um, you know, cause they don't make them like this anymore. So $4, I picked that up and I'm just happy to own it, honestly. And then I was thinking by the time little man is my stepfather's age or even younger, actually, if he holds on to this, it'll be an antique by then. So he'll be able to give an antique to his children, which is kind of like what I aim for. Cause I just think it's super cool. So yes, $4 for that. Okay. The next thing, this was outside too. This is a Melissa and Doug reusable sticker pad little man's gonna freak this is like all him all day and it does have a marshall's tag on it for 3.99 um i was wondering how much the guy at the register is not my favorite everybody else there's awesome the guy at the register not so much any price is high when there's no price and stuff and he's not like if he smiled his face would shatter like that you know i'm sure he's great but it just 
the aura is not there, you know, it's weird. Anyway, so I was wondering how much he was going to charge me. I was hoping for a dollar. That would be great. But he charged me two, which is still half of the Marshall's price. So fine. And little man's going to love it. So $2 for this brand new, still sealed Melissa and Doug reusable sticker pad. That's going to be part of little man's Christmas present as well. Then the barn also has a trailer section and it's like mostly furniture and things. So I walk into that in the walkthrough as well and I see some lamps. So the first one that caught my eye was this. Now I did notice this finial is incorrect I do believe. Um, so we can go ahead and look for another finial or possibly if we can add enough washers to the bottom we can raise this up and make it tight but the finial does not um, screw all the way down. So you can tell it's the wrong one. But this heavy duty stained glass grape lamp, I, I couldn't believe it. So I was like, okay, my mom loves stained glass lamps. That's all she has all over her house. I don't think she'll be a giant fan of the grapes, but I think she'll get over it. This is so heavy. Um, so I was like, all right, I'm just gonna grab this. There's no price, so. I'm just gonna grab it, bring it inside, see what happens, hopefully not find the guy at the register, you know? So I hold that thought um, and I'll just tell you, he wasn't alone. The same guy that told, that was outside that told me four on the metal Tonka, he was next to him. So I was like, okay. <laughs> but it, it turned out to not matter, just anyway. Then I missed it the first time because I wasn't, you know, it's not like my my initial thing. But, but I, I turn back around and I look, I said, oh, look at that. That's kind of cute. Well, that's kind of cute. It's like a decoy lamp that'll be cute for the lake house that we don't have yet, but it'll be great, right? So I was like, let me check that out for my mom and my stepdad, because that's cute, you know, whatever. And I was like, maybe, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll again go in, ask them how much it is and super cute. And then I look at the cord, the plug screws and wires how old are we talking here can someone tell me i'm thinking 20s 30s tell me if you know tell me so i was like wow i was not thinking it was that old not at all so obviously they'll have to rewire it because you don't want to plug that in or you could just use it for show if you want whatever so I bring and look at the shade. It's like burlap, beautiful. So I bring this in and this guy and I walk up to the register. I'm like, how much for the lamps? Luckily it didn't matter. They said five, all lamps are five. I was like, oh, okay. Can I leave these here and look around? They're like, yeah, sure. $5 each. So these are both going to my, to my parents for Christmas. Unbelievable. I was so happy with that. Unexpected. I was not expecting to walk in and buy lamps that day, but that's how it happens. Then, if you guys saw the walkthrough, you know, one of the things that they had advertised on Facebook the day before, and I wanted to run there and go grab it, but I couldn't because I was home, home with little man sick. I went the next day when Brett was home on his break, and I was like, I doubt it's there. If anyone knows anything, it's not going to be there, and that's fine, you know, whatever. So I'm looking around for it while I'm there, and I couldn't see it. But lo and behold, as I was going to pay and I had given up on my goal, it was in the display case with the, the, the non-smiling man up front. It was in the display case. And I was like, oh, it's here. And I grabbed it right away. It is this four piece, full four piece Friggy set. In the... Um, early American or Americana pattern. It's kind of called, called both things. So we have the two babies, the like o o loaf size one almost, and this, um, the, the, <laughs> oh, and this is actually the same pattern, the early American or Americana pattern of the oval covered casserole dish that my stepfather found me from the estate sale that he gave me for my birthday, but that had the gold pattern. It was fancy. Now, the early American or Americana pattern in Pyrex ran from 1961 to 1970. So it's it's somewhere in there. They all have their lids. Um, 
again, this is, this is just for me. There's a little normal wear and tear, little nick, you know, like the, they're used and not in the dishwasher, thankfully, but, but they're used, you know, somebody used them. I, I don't, I don't care. I, these are for me. This is for my collection and I absolutely love them. And it was $40 for all four pieces. Can you believe it? Oh my goodness. Okay. What a bargain. He has an, he has another three piece bowl set in there for 125. It's, it's a cheap place too. You see this, like, what are they thinking? Now, what I want to show you, I found interesting. I saw when I got home, this is not from them, but look at this sticker that's on them. Vendor 967, number P34, Pyrex, early American set four of four. This is the fourth piece. And then it says like three of four, two of four, one of four. You get it. So I'm like, was this in somebody's antique booth? And it like didn't sell or something. And then they just shut down their booth and didn't care and donated it. I feel like that's what that is. It's a vendor number. But I got it for 40 and I am super excited. So that's getting displayed too. Very happy. Okay, that's like what I went there for and I can't believe it worked out. Then I showed this in the walkthrough too. Um, they had this and it's a Balik and I'm like, why not? I don't have a Balik, and I could have had a lot of Baliks because my step-grandmother had tons of Balik, the 60s, 1960s Balik, um, but we sold it all at the estate sale, and I didn't have any interest in it then, but now I was like, it's a Balik, and I don't have one, and it was $3, so why not? Although, I cannot find this mark anywhere. I really, really can't. I, I don't I don't understand, because it goes by color. I thought that was black. I don't know what it is. It's not blue. Because the blue is like blue, blue. I, I don't know. I can't find it anywhere. But it is my thoughts that this is modern, totally modern. But the super modern ones, like uh, 98 and forward, I think, or two, two, 2000, I think, and forward, or 2005 and forward, something like that. They actually have the website underneath. It says, like, Balik.com. It says like it's just weird if anybody knows Balik I cannot tell the color I cannot tell the years I've looked at all the marks online but I'm pretty certain it is modern but I, I don't care it's still a Balik and um I think this is called colonial and um this one has like a pink undertone like a blush you see that with the gold lines they also make this with a green undertone but this is a little bit of pink, if you can see that. And it was $3, and now I have a Balik. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to show you the house portion of the church thrift store, which only ended up being clothes. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be a, a sale, but it was buy one, get one free on the clothes. So I picked up a couple of things. I got this hat, which was not part of the buy one, get one free, but I got it for me. And it's super cute, and I don't have anything like that, so I thought it was cute. It's 100% wool. It's made in China. Um, I think she charged me, I don't know, 2 or $3 for this, but I like it. And then this is the super special piece that she was trying to charge me for a coat on, and I was like, it's a sweater. <laughs> She said, but it's not an ordinary sweater. I was like, but it's not a coat. But anyway, so she's like, do you want to go grab it? I say it in the walkthrough. She's like, do you want to go grab another one since it's buy one, get one free? I'm like, I looked. I, there's nothing there. So she charged me four instead of the seven. So I was like, great. That's perfect. Great. So it is this handmade sweater. And it is so thick. And it's probably the warmest thing on earth. I absolutely love this and it says specially handmade by Audrey and doesn't even the tag looks kind of vintage right I don't know but I love this this is for me and I can't believe it's like plus size like who would have thought like you find a hand knit beautiful wool sweater and I think I don't know man between that tag and these buttons I'm thinking I'm thinking it's vintage and it's and it's plus size so that's amazing there's no size on it I could just tell all right so we got that for four we got the hat and then basically the rest of the stuff is for little man and there was like a whole bunch of Christmas stuff so I was like let me just grab it now and at half price that's fantastic well buy one get one free 
So I think all of these were like a dollar each because they're supposed to be two dollars basically. So I found this was this was probably two dollars because I think it was four or something. I don't even know, but it's a it's a pajama set. It's the pants and the shirt. That is so cute. So I got that. Then I got him this plain red sweatshirt because he doesn't have one and tis the season. And that is Hanes Comfort Blend. Then these were the only pajama pants in his size. So they weren't my favorite, but I was like, I'll grab them for a dollar. Little penguin, moose, seal, polar bear. They're cute. I just wanted something a little more Christmassy. Then I got him this shirt. It looks like a like a knit, like a knit or a needlepoint reindeer. Happy holidays. This is like kind of girly, but if there's no pleating on the sleeve, which I don't think there is. Yeah, I don't think so. Cause you know, the pleating on the, on the shoulder really makes it feminine. Um, but I don't, I think this is just a straight sleeve. So, you know, it's got glitter on it, but, and the cats have some, uh, you know, sassy eyelashes, but I think he can totally wear this. It's wonderful. Shine bright with the little kitties. I just love that. So I got that for him. And I got him this children's place vest. I love it. This sweater vest. So sweet. A dollar each. And the last thing I need to get buttons and sew buttons on this. This is so vintage guys. So vintage. I wish I knew what year. Um, it didn't have like a size on it. Oh, wait, does it say 40? I hope it fits him. I don't know, but look. That is old, right? I mean, it has to be. And the feel of it, it's 100% polyester. This is absolutely fantastic. And it's got velvet. Velvet pockets. Do you guys remember the velvet, the blue velvet dress jacket I got him? from savers or I think it was I don't know somewhere a few holes back he could wear that over this like a three-piece that would be awesome but yes it's missing all of its buttons so I just have to find some it's only three and sew those on I love this a dollar oh my goodness I love it um all right I think that brings us to the end of the church barn and house but on one of those same days I did run into the hospital thrift store and I spent like 350 so clearly that can't be its own haul so I'm gonna tack that onto here as well it's literally like three things so let's do that and then we'll call it a video okay here's our tiny little bag 350 so the single ornaments, if you watch the walkthrough, were 75 cents each. So the first one that you see me pick up is this one, which is absolutely crazy. I'm assuming it's blown. I don't really know, but it is so wonderful. It says Sorrento underneath. I've not been able to find anything like this. I looked it up afterward. I have no idea. And then, it's got a little baby glass nativity scene inside. Isn't that amazing? I don't know. Like those little gemstones and stuff do lead me to believe that it is modern, um, but I still think it is a fantastic work of art. So for 75 cents, that one came home with me. And for completely different reasons, I grabbed this one right away. This little flocked Santa, plastic Santa ornament. Dancing Santa, I think they call him. I actually did see these on eBay, uh, sold comps, and it's uh, they did list it as vintage, and I believe he's dancing Santa. So for 75 cents, absolutely now part of my collection then i got these two i haven't been able to look them up yet i just thought they were wonderful 
I don't know if they're vintage or not, but they wanted a dollar each bag for this garland. And it is like candy and cookie sugared garland. So I got two bags of it because it's spectacular. I feel like it might be vintage. I'll have to do more research, but it's wonderful. So those are the only three things that came home with me from the hospital thrift store. It was two ornaments and two bags of garland for three fifty. So that is going to do it for today's haul, guys, of the church, thrift store, barn and house and trailer in a little tiny bit from the hospital thrift store. Um, as always, don't forget to tell me anything you know at all about anything down below in the comments, as well as what you think today's deal of the day or overall find of the day in general was. And that is going to do it for today, guys. Make sure you check out the walkthrough of all of these places if you haven't already. And it is linked down below for you in the description box for easy access. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, we would love if you would consider doing so and becoming a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. We would love to have you and we tend to have a lot of fun here. So until the next video, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hope you enjoyed. Stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.